Here we are at Kingswood Smith Memorial Park in Katoomba of the Blue Mountains, New South Wales, where 16 players from across Australia are about to take part in the first ever season of Sydney Survivor. The physical and mental challenges of this game will test the players, as well as the freezing cold temperatures that the players have to endure. The real challenge, however, will be outlasting their tribe mates to make it to the end and become Sydney's survivor's first sole survivor. A game run over just one day and with new twists and turns that the players have never seen before, who has what it takes to become Sydney survivor's first sole survivor? 16 players, one crazy long day, and one sole survivor. Oh my goodness, I've just arrived here for the first Sydney Survivor and I'm the first one here. I have been told that we get to have a meet and greet with the other cast members before we officially start, so let the games begin. Bring it on. I'm Jazz, I'm 43 years old from the Blue Mountains and I work in childcare. What was her name? Jazz. Jazz, I'm Hey, my name's TK, I'm 27 and I'm a special education teacher from the Hills. Hey, My name is Ethan Bromelow. I'm 21. I'm from the Lower Mountains. Um, I'm just here out today to, in Katoomba. Um, we just got here early in the morning, just feeling out the vibe. Um, it's a bit of a mixed feeling, to be honest. I'm a little nervous, very cold. I believe that my greatest strength within the game will be my social game, the fact that I am kind of an extrovert, I can talk to anyone, I get along with anyone and everyone of all ages and all different backgrounds and what have you. Where are you guys from? Is that from the mountains? Good morning. Good morning. Hi, my name is Michelle. Um, I'm a teacher from Sydney. Um, I also run the um, Australian Survivor fan group, so I may have a tag on my back if anyone finds out who I am. Um, I love Survivor since like the first episode with Richard, and you know, I, I, Survivor basically takes up a lot of my time um, being on Facebook, and hopefully, I my goal is to get past merge. Hopefully I can get to the final tribal. Um, I play orgs, which are online reality games, so I play Survivor a lot online. Um, I've won a couple of games of that. It's just really hard to get to the end. You need to have a really good social game. You need to talk all the time. So, hoping I can get there. Hey, I'm Sam, I'm 30 years old and I'm from Brisbane. I'm a youth worker at a local high school. I am so stoked to be playing Sydney Survivor. I've been wanting to play a fan-made version for so long. I've looked at all the ones around the country. Um, timing just hasn't worked and Sydney Survivor came up. I saw the expression of interest looked at the dates, it worked perfectly, it's so close to Brisbane, I'm so excited to be playing. What people probably don't know is that I have created and hosted my own fan-made version of Survivor called Brisbane Survivor. Um, you wouldn't have seen it yet because it hasn't been released on YouTube, but uh, it's probably a good thing that I can play this before people do see it because I don't really want people to know that I'm a massive fan and have created my own version. Um, this could be a hindrance or a help though. Uh, definitely a help because I know how jam-packed a day game can be um, and what needs to be involved in order to get through this many contestants in a day. The, 
fast pace, the twists, the turns, I have a bit of an idea, but it could also be a hindrance because I don't really want to rely on that. Um, if I rely on that, I'm going to be in trouble because, to be honest, I'm just in the dark like everyone else. I don't know what's coming. I don't know when. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm Christy Bennett, age 30 and a marketing consultant. I sit on the beach and talk to you drinking beers. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. 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 Just a bit of Yeah. It's a bit of a rush. But yeah, I'm, I'm a massage therapist for a moment. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Do you want to Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I am the original winner of Australian Survivor Season 1 and there is no more authentic way to play Survivor than with a real castaway. Hey Christy. Hello, Hello Christy. Hey. Thank you. Oh, welcome. Really? Oh, 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 oh my god. What a fucking way. Welcome. Oh my god. I thought about calling myself someone else. <laughs> but I also Holy thought that was a really bad idea. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Hello, Sam. Hello, oh, Sam. Sam. Shane, I'm gonna say that ever mission. Hello, Michelle. Hello, what's your name? Joseph. Joseph. How are you, Christy? Luke. Hello, Luke. Jazz. You're so lovely. Thank you. What's your name? I'm taking her home. Hi, Hello, Hello, Hello. 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 I walked in like this, and they were like, is that her? And I was like, surprise! <laughs> My mind is a little bit blown. Christy Denner from season one is here. I can't fucking believe it. Yeah, I, I'm kind of, yeah, a bit shell shocked that um, she's here. A real player is here. Um, I've looked around the cast. Oh, I can see a few really strong game players already. <laughs> And a Matthew. Yeah. Yeah. It's different to what right now. My name's Amanda. I'm 34, and I'm a real estate agent. I have played before, but only in trial in Melbourne. But I'm trying to keep that on the down low. I'm trying to really minimise my threat level today. Not let people know that I'm a moderate fan. I'm definitely not a super fan, but I'm minimising my threat level at any opportunity. The game I want to play is to be nice, to have fun, but the really hard thing in Survivor is you cannot, almost nine times out of ten, you cannot convince the jury that you deserve to win based on being nice and just getting to the end. You have to make some kind of moves and that's really unnatural to me and I find that really, really tough, but that's my goal for the day. Uh, my name is Rosa Bates, I'm 29 years old. Um, I am a lawyer in real life, but today I'm a medical researcher, which is technically true because I used to do that. Can't believe Christy fucking Bennett, the winner of Australian Survivor Season 1, is here. Uh, I don't think people are going to target her first because everyone's a Survivor fan um, and they want to kind of work with her, and I do too, because I would like to get to know her. My motto today is just be adaptable. Um, if I make any statements, just make sure it's plausible deniability, <laughs> a bit of truth in everything that I say, and um, I think I can go pretty far if I keep my wits about me, keep my cards close to my chest. Oh, Which is what I was going That was fine. Yeah, I was like, oh well. Was one of the things it's that was it's so such a huge family. commitment. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to the TV show, there's a lot more time to develop, but with this you're going to have to know who you're voting out for the next few tribal councils rather than just one tribal council. So you're planning ahead um, and having a plan. You kind of have to stick together a lot more because it's such a short period of time, it's hard to change people's minds. Hey, uh, so I'm Luke. Uh, I've been chatting to the rest of the cast for about 30 minutes or so and I'm getting good vibes from a lot of people. Um, I mean, it's hard, to, it's hard to remember all the names, but uh, a lot of the boys, I've been talking to a lot of the boys quite a fair bit. Uh, but I think I'm going to do really, really well in the challenges. I love running, love jumping, love doing all that sort of stuff and I'm um, pretty competitive, so really looking forward to just getting it underway.
Come on in! Oh, I've wanted to say those words. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the first season of Sydney Survivor. <laughs> so, firstly, we've got people from Sydney, New South Wales. We've also got people from elsewhere. Luke, tell us where you've travelled from today. Um, so I'm from the Gold Coast, so that's where I travelled from, but I do live in the US. <coughs> um, so I'm a teacher in the US. I've been teaching there for the year come back over for about a month and a half to redo my visa and stuff and so yeah just making the most of all the different experiences while I'm back for a bit. And uh, Ethan, in comparison, whereabouts are you from today? Uh, yeah, I just live 40 minutes away down the mountain so you know I got off at like 6, had some breakfast. <laughs> nice, and same with you Jazz? It's tourist, for Easy. Time and I was here. <laughs> yeah. Christy! How is it being surrounded by a bunch of fans? <laughs> You're not forgetting, I'm a massive fan. <laughs> so this is just as exciting for me as for everyone else. Lizzie, how excited are you to kick things off? I'm pretty excited. Um, everyone's super friendly. Um, yeah, it's going to be really fun. My name's Lizzie and I'm from Sydney. There's a couple of people who have come from like a different state, so they must be like really big fans. So. I'm gonna like keep an eye out for them because I reckon they'd be like really strategic and they'd they'd be they're probably gonna be big players if they like the game that much. All right, are you ready to get to your first immunity challenge? Yes! <laughs> well, I got some news for you guys. This uh, season, well, Sydney Survivor is all about adaptability. So I'm gonna hit you with a bombshell twist straight off the bat. You're going to be competing for tribal immunity. However. You'll be competing individually. You will not know your tribes until the challenge has been completed. Oh. <laughs> this is how the challenge is gonna work. You're gonna have 10 minutes to run out. You've got a bucket with your name on it and collect as many colored eggs as possible. You have 10 minutes. You are as free to talk and work with anyone possible. That's fine, absolutely fine. You can mingle, you can make assumptions on who's on your tribe, but at the end of the day, you're competing individually. Feel free to talk to people, feel free to help people out, but at the end of the day, you might not be on the same tribe, so keep that in mind. Once the challenge, the 10 minutes is up, you'll hear a siren, that'll go off, you'll come back, you have to come back immediately, you come straight back to the center stage, what we're gonna do then, is I'm going to sort you into your tribes. You'll be put into your tribes, <coughs> then your counts will be added to your tribes count. The tribe count with the highest wins immunity. So you, I hope that you used that morning time wisely. Survivors ready? <laughs> Go!
Thank you. Don't tell me. I need a bigger bucket. I'm going to say you want to switch, but it has my name. Yeah, I got a... Oh, you're right, sir? Yeah, you're right. I got a couple. Yeah, mate. I'm going to have a wander off in the bushes over here. Yeah, well... Chris, take your foot, hey. I wonder if there are any clues. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, so right now I'm trying to check if there's any idols around, possibly, and uh, any advantages. So I'm trying to just collect most eggs because I'm just trying to be a good team member because whichever tribe I'm on, whether we go tribal council or not, I don't want to go tribal. And if I have a lot more, at least I show I was doing good for the team and they don't vote me out. Hi guys, my name is John Tan. I am from Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. And as you can tell, I am a Marvel fan. So I'm excited to play Sydney Survivor. I, I've, I've actually, one tip about me, I've applied for Sub Australian Survivor before and almost got on the show. But, you know, just wasn't lucky enough to be, make the cast. However, um, here's one thing. I'd like to let you guys know a bit more about me, a secret. Um, I am someone who just recently got into the Army Reserves. Inside Survivor Army is my passion. And I had four attempts. The one hardest goal that I achieved in my life to get into the Army was that I had four attempts. Last year in 2021 was a breakdown. After one step back in my first platoon four week, in the first week, I had to back squad to a second platoon and start all over again, where I made it to day 28. But, and I had one more week left, but then an issue happened and I had to back squad to another platoon week three. And another issue did happen there, which really affected me. They told me I should either RTU or probably just quit because maybe it's not for me. And it gave me six months to think if I really want to do this. I decided to go back, open-minded with a fresh start. And I came back in March and it still was not easy for me. But I finally marched out in the end. I got my dream and I have got, and I've been ever happy ever since. Oh, I think I've got something. Joking. <laughs> I think he is head first. Huh? Possibly in Luke. Yeah, get ready to come on Yeah, I will do. Alright, how did everyone find their first review challenge? Slippery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who thinks they're on the winning tribe? <laughs> a, a few? <laughs> Who, who thinks they're on the losing tribe? <laughs> I, okay! <laughs> Alright, well it's time to find out your tribes. Who is ready? Yeah. Yeah. Now just remember quickly, the first person will be voted out and they'll be heading to extinction. So, we have Katuma tribe, that is the blue tribe. And we have Bulabara, nothing's in Bulabara, that's the red tribe. So, if I call out your name, please come and grab a blue buff. From the back. Blue, Katuma, Red, Bulabara. If you don't remember what your tribe name is, just call it Blue or Red. Uh, blue tribe, Luke. Give him a clap, guys. Come on. So I leave your fucking... Leave the eggs. Lizzie. 
Christy. Oh. TK. Michelle. Danny. Sam. And last but not least, John Tan. Now we've got the Bulabara Red Tribe. That's Shane, Ethan, Merlene, Leah, Joseph, Jazz, Matthew, and Amanda. Okay, Matthew, how do you feel about your tribe members? I'm really happy. I think I, yeah, I was chatting with all of them this morning and um, yeah, I, I'm really wrapped with the outcome. Yeah, awesome. And Danny, what about you? Awesome. Sam, how did you find that challenge? Yeah, it was good. It was a mess. Like, my shoes are soaked. Um, not <laughs> ideal in the first challenge, but um, yeah, it was cool. It was good running around. Seeing the lay of the land a little bit. We're going to be playing today. Awesome. And uh, Amanda, are you ready to get started? Great. Awesome. Let's do this, guys. Please bring your bucket. So, who won the challenge? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Blue Tribe, oh. you collected 140 oh. eggs. Oh. Red Tribe, you collected 198 eggs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tuba Tribe, you'll have 25 minutes to figure out who you're going to be voting out first. The first member that will be heading to the edge of extinction. I wish you luck. Grab your bags and head on back to camp. Alright, so we just won the first immunity challenge. Uh, really stoked about that. The first one's pretty pivotal. Uh, I would say no one wants to be first out. And you kind of don't have to start the game off too hard. I mean, no one likes to lose the first challenge, uh, especially have to go to the tribal so quickly. Um, we didn't really know anyone, and everyone kind of is playing their cards close to their chest. Hi, my name is Danny, and I'm a 32-year-old medical administrator. I live in the Sutherland Shire with my husband and my two gorgeous kids. My plan for Survivor Sydney: I'll approach it like a really intense strategic gameplay that I take to coaching and playing. Come on! Coaching and playing netball. Make it yours. Be hungry, please. You can stay right where you are. And as soon as you get that ball in your hands, you should be up here. I'm a pretty perceptive person, so plan to use that to manipulate the game in my favour. Don't sleep on me. I am always strategizing, whether it's what's the best combination to put on the court or how to toilet train two toddlers at the same time. My brain is always ticking. My intensity could be a little polarizing in the game, especially in such a fast-paced environment, but I think balanced with a little light and laughter 
and my soft motherly sides. That could really seem to get far in the game. <laughs> so we just had our first tribal uh, challenge. I found out that I'm really unfit because um, I went up the mountain. But um, yeah, we won, which is good. Never wanted to be the first one out. Oh, you you know, know, what get to know each other. Oh, yeah. Like a quick, like, random fact about it. Oh, I'm still around. Like, we get to know each other. <laughs> Why don't we do, like, what is your biggest, like, irrational fear? Wow. Because we all have irrational fears. Like, for me, okay. butterflies. I don't do butterflies, oh. any flying, like, insect bug cannot do it. Well, it's, like good you, it's good you come up to, like, a bush area. That was, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, like, <laughs> deathly afraid of butterflies. Like, I'll see a butterfly. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, it's yeah. a butterfly. Okay, and it still flies. Okay, okay. <laughs> what justification behind the rational fear of flying animals <laughs> is because they can fly. I feel like they can get up in your face and they can, like, boom, get my eye. And I'm like, oh, I can't fight them back we just won our first immunity challenge, which is really awesome. I'm so glad I'm not going to be first boot. It's a massive tick off the bucket list. Um, I gave a bunch of my eggs to Joseph, and he ended up on my tribe. So that is really amazing news. But I gave some to Michelle and Luke, who are not on my tribe. So, my name is Leah. I am 21, and I am based in Western Sydney, New South Wales. I think my strength in this game will be my ability to make friends really, really quickly. And I also would consider that my weakness in the game because if you come on too strong too soon, I think people see that as a bit of a threat. Uh, and then I just do basketball coaching um, in summer for Blue Mountains Grammar. It's like 10 minutes away from here. Uh, it's where I went to school, so I just coach like you seven to nine girls. Nice. So, oh, okay. Yeah, cool. so, so I love you, it. You said you live down in Glenbrook? Yeah, I live yeah, in Glenbrook. come up to the... Yeah, yeah. Grammar, yeah. yeah. That's pretty much across the road from... Like, yeah, I live across the road from the village there at Winnie. Oh, you live so, across from the village? Yeah. And, and work there, so... Well, that's pretty convenient. No, no, no driving at night was good with petrol prices. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, I'm Shane. I'm um, pretty excited today about the competition. I'm just a very, very competitive person. So, uh, yeah, love to... Love to do anything competitive, basically. Hey guys, I'm just going to show you this really quick because I found it during the thing. Wow! But there's two of them. I don't know who else found it. Um, I think it's someone on the other tribe. If you're on the tribe and you found it, you're a bit of a dick. All right. <laughs> Thank um, you for being honest. Oh my god, yeah. Ethan. Now we've I mean, got the I don't know what else to do with it. Can I smell it? <laughs> <laughs> You can, you can hold the Probably sounds like Eli, don't you? Alrighty. Alrighty, let's read this out. Alright, congratulations. You have found the safety without power advantage. What is that? That's where you can keep leave reading. tribal council. Keep, keep reading. Okay, okay, okay. Reading. Uh, this allows the holder to either leave tribal council at the beginning of tribal council themselves or send someone else to leave back to camp. Okay, nice, interesting. Uh, this makes either you or the person you are playing it on unable to be eliminated. But in return for being immune, you slash they will not vote, uh, nor take any further part in tribal council. This must be played at the beginning of tribal council before Eli asks any questions. Uh, the last time that you can play this is when three... Oh, sorry, when there... Yeah, I'm a bit dyslexic. When there are seven players left in the game. Good luck. Okay, so hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. So, so, I'm a hold on to it, obviously, yeah. but I can give it away at any yep. point. Yep. And uh, thank you. Few things have happened. I found a advantage in the game. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it essentially gives me. I'm allowed to leave tribal council at the start of tribal, and I'm safe. Also, give it to someone else. Um, so I have no idea what I'm gonna do with that. But Shane has something in his pocket, and a few of us clocked him picking up something. It could have been his gloves, but we were also when we were out there playing. We were talking to someone else and she on the other tribe and she said that she saw him pick something up. So I'm thinking it's the same advantage or another advantage, but it's in his pocket. So it is kind of obvious, but we're not 100% sure. But the fact that I've revealed it and that he possibly could have it in his pants puts me in a really good situation with my tribe. Um, and I think there's a few people here which I'm really gelling with. Interesting, an interesting uh, advantage. I honestly just thought it would be a clue to hidden immunity idol, 
Um, but I think Eli's really going to try and put a lot of different twists into the game. Yeah, so is. this is uh, an interesting one. Um, I might just play at the first tribal council so I don't have a bit of a target <laughs> on my back. Um, but I have no idea what to do with this. I haven't even watched a season where they've used this yet. So um, I have no strategy for this. But you all know now. So. Uh, one of us already found one, um, yeah, one advantage um, and announced it to the group. I'm not announcing that I found the other one. I don't know what it is yet, so we'll have to sneak away and read what it is. Uh, all right. Uh, well, everyone's watching. <laughs> uh, uh. That's a legacy advantage. Uh, congratulations, you found the legacy advantage. This can only be used at the first merge vote or when there are six players left in the game. Um, if you are wielding the legacy advantage uh, and are eliminated before you play it, you must will the legacy advantage to another player still in. This will continue until the legacy advantage is either played <coughs> or dis discarded by not being used please write your name in the section below and if you're voted out uh, please uh, will it by writing the next person's name and yours good luck all right that'll be interesting uh, yes uh, all right well we'll see how that one gets used but yeah all right go team Yeah, it's just, just a flutter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's Arizona. Yeah. And he loses his vote, so as we get smaller, he's still around, and he decides to move. Then we're down one vote, yeah. potentially. So. <laughs> what do you think? <coughs> <think? coughs> Sorry, 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 then he's more likely to use that advantage when he gets to the ball. Yeah, we'll be sticking back to this point until the first one, yeah, and then we'll worry about it. Even if it's not true. Even if it's not true. Even if it's not true. I'm happy to be there. Yeah, they're all trying to be good at the moment. But I really like um, Amanda, and I'm really vibing with uh, Jazz. I'm really glad, and Matthew as well. So I think, uh, um, and even Joseph. So I think we'll sort of band together a little bit. I'm thinking Ethan might be sort of an outs a little bit at the moment. So we'll wait and see how things go up. And he didn't really know what to do with the advantage, which is you know, shows that he's inexperienced a bit with this game. So we'll wait and see how that all pans out. But um, yeah, I've got some really strong connections already, so I'm really happy. Hi, I'm Merlene. I'm 51 years old and I come from the sunny central coast of New South Wales. Uh, during the week, I'm the principal Cairo at a wellness centre that I run with my hubby and I'm also a qualified nutritionist and board certified fellow in lifestyle medicine. And in my spare time and on the weekends, I'm an ultra marathon trail runner. But I don't think I need my tribe mates to know that I'm a successful businesswoman and a health professional. I'm going to tell them I'm a learn to swim instructor, which was one of my jobs through uni. So I know enough about it, I think, to pull it off. Um, it might make me a bit less intimidating and perhaps a little bit more approachable. I'm assuming most of my tribe mates will be a bit younger than me, so I want to make it as easy as possible to make connections with them. If I need to talk about uni, um, I'll just say that I did an undergrad degree but I've never used it. See how that goes anyway. That's the plan and hopefully I'll pull it off. That is unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's really like, like Zumba. Yeah. It's really like sad, you know. Oh, oh, yeah, because it's got a. Yeah, around the. Oh. 
this. Well, I'm gonna go tribal first. Yeah. Nobody wants to do that. No. Yeah, like Best thing is at least someone gets to come back. Yeah, you're not out. Yeah, the extinction is That's really big, good. Yeah. And that, yeah. I wonder Sorry, if, if, if everyone like from Extinction will make jewelry. Just oh, like yeah, everyone's yeah, on jury. Yeah. Oh, that's Everybody's good. So at least jury. we all get to be a part of something. Yeah. We just don't get kicked out. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. So, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so now we go, go, guys. <laughs> Gotta split up. I'll just take five people with me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, Yeah. Let's go and split up. Yeah. Let's split up. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, all right. Yeah, well, we're here, so. Yeah. Okay. What are you thinking? Honestly, <laughs> this is going to sound so silly. I mean, I haven't even like, had an idea. Going in, folks. Just got into the game. You know, we just. Let's speak for each other. Yeah. For, like, if we move over, that means we can speak louder. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. We could just, like, I'm just going to stand right where I am. That's fair. Chrissy, what, let's pick your brains. Okay. How do we play this game? Yeah, what, yeah. what do you... Well, you club? like the way I see it is like, <coughs> who do you want to work with like moving forward yeah. kind of thing, rather than targeting someone to go out. Yeah, who do you want mm. to It's like, who do you want to be with? Mm. Yeah. Because, yeah, to me it's not personal no, with me. anyone. Like, it's more okay. who you want to work with. Yeah. 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 Mm. I think it's, yeah, I'm just trying to think. It's so hard, because... Mm. They're looking at us, we're looking at them. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> hey we'll guys. swap, we'll change it up yeah. in a sec. Who are you voting for? <laughs> we only take, like, I don't know what time it is, but we've been here for almost an hour. We've yeah. only had some talk make, with yeah. people, and then, you know, we didn't have, like, time to, like, you know, go well. If, yeah. Like, yeah. If you understand. Well, it's hard because like, we're throwing right First in. impression. Yeah. And then, yeah. 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 And I know, like, whatever this vote tonight, I don't. I know it's not going to be personal towards anyone. No, no, of course it's just not. Because mm -hmm. someone's got to go and mother of us don't want to be that person. Yeah. And then, mm. No one yeah. wants to be that person. Yeah. I, I think it's just. Worst case scenario, you're first out. That's but there's still, back back there's, still yeah. pizza, yeah. there's still pizza and beer at the yeah. end of the day. Um, and, like, a bunch of epic, like, survivor fans, which is yeah. super yeah. cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. But at this stage, I just want to work with who I can trust. Yeah, I'll move forward yeah. with, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I definitely want someone to start talking about something more solid with alliances. At the moment, it feels like uh, too soon out of the gate to be throwing that out there. But I definitely can tell that there's a few people who um, I'll definitely be making sure that we know we're all on the same team. Yeah, I just he's easy. That's true. He's intense. Yeah. Like I'm an intense person, but he's intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just, uh, like, maybe I'm not. But I'm. Do we try? Right, do, we, do, we yeah. well. do we roll with some, someone here? Like just say that. I don't mind. Them. Well, I mean, if you do, Lizzie, I'm good with that. Yeah. Okay. Like, All right. Should we go and get someone else? Yep. Peel someone else away and try and get. Yes, but you, got you want Christy to be like the cover up. I think she knows well, she'll get some. Yeah, she so she's, she's, mm. She won't be surprised if yeah. her name. Mm. She'd be surprised if her name didn't come up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We're together. It's devastating to lose a challenge, um, but everyone loves a good underdog, and I think that's a good good start for our story, a good narrative. Um, it's just hard pulling out names. Like you see it on TV, it's like, oh wait, we gotta. We gotta vote for someone now. Um, I feel terrible because I was the one that put Danny's name up, and that's purely just because I don't really know her that well. Um, not not that I don't like everyone's pretty great. And again, like the type of game I want to play is like I think it's really easy to pull Christy and vote her out. Like I think that's really easy, but I think that's boring. And I'm not here to play a boring game. I'm here to play a great game. I'm here to play a fun game. I'm here to play a game that's gonna be like entertaining for the the fans, the crew, the cast. Guys, talk that over. We talked about. Um, I didn't get a, I didn't connect with Lizzie <laughs> much. Uh, the Lizzie? blue chocolate. Yeah, yeah, the blue yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, the blue chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't connected with her that much. Yeah, either. Really that much. Mm. Um, yeah, we were sort of just like talking. Everyone was like, yeah, I don't want to vote for anyone. So no names her. came up? Um, I think someone said Sam. Okay. And I was a bit like, I didn't like that. No. I, mm. I was like, no, I don't no, like, I like that it. at yeah. all. No. 
He'll be great. I can too. Like yeah, I, I really vibes. like Sam. I really like Luke. Mm. Um, yeah, he's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys are obviously cool. Yeah. Like, instantly, I was, yeah, like, yeah. Like, instantly <laughs> I was like, you guys. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I better talk to someone. Yeah. <laughs> Some other people too. Um, okay. Who do you want to work with moving forward? Um, yeah. That's how I said. Yeah. Like, who do you want to work with? Yeah. Well, not, well, not yeah, Lizzie. I don't no, have Lizzie in my sense. You guys are great wives for me and Sam. Like, you guys are probably like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want to continue moving forward with. Yeah, that's like, the, that's like just instant. Like, it was just a like, yeah. exactly. Like, like, you didn't have to say much. You know, it's like, like, she's sweet and all. Oh, she's but, sad. It's, it's yeah. totally nothing else. I think she's super sweet. And, like, you got to remember this extinction. It's not that I'm targeting anyone. Yeah. No, I don't yeah. want to target anyone. Someone's got to go first. Someone's got to go first. Yeah. So it's like, probably them, and then, um, kind of have to think a little bit further in mm. advance yeah. as well. Yeah. About it. A few little groups we've sort of splintered off. We think we'll go at Lizzie, um, only because a few of us haven't connected with her. Um, John's name was thrown out, and Christy's name was thrown out. Don't want to vote for Christy though. Um, I know other people don't want to vote for Christy because it's a bit, it's a bit bad like voting her out first. Um, and also, she's also probably a good shield for later. Maybe. Um, so yeah, thinking Lizzie. Right now. Um, it's sad. I hate first boots. <laughs> but yeah. Just hoping it's not me. So it's either you're thinking you it's either Christy you've heard and then you want Lizzo. Yeah. But you personally want who else? What other who what else has other people said to you? What do they want? Um I've heard your name. Why am I here? What have I, I done wrong? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing. It's so early. It's so early, but yeah. But um Shit. I think maybe someone heard you talk strategy already. I haven't talked strategy at all. Well but. they've misconstrued something. <sighs> yeah. But not not enough to get out first. Oh, so they're not like getting. Yeah, they don't want to they're get not thinking. No, no, it's just your name came up. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, that's. I think that's where I'm leaning. All right. Well, you guys consider Daddy because she's the only person I ever spoke to. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's horrible voting someone out. I don't want to. It's, look, it's I don't, horrible, but like it has to be I understand people are going to lie and stuff, but I just don't want to be first boot because you know. No. Um, but like um. And I don't think I've done anything wrong to anyone. No, um, no. Unless, like, you know, I, if you guys think you haven't connected me with much no, no, people. No, 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 yeah, um, no. Super solid. And then, um, who's the guy who's doing the confessional now? The guy that's Luke. Who, yeah, he says he knows you, but you're like... Yeah, we but, do. Like, that's... Yeah. Oh, you're not supposed to say? Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, wow. Well. I, I hope it doesn't put a target on <laughs> no, me. No, no, it doesn't. I think you guys are, like... If anything works in your favour, like that you guys are sort of paired, if someone, like a three was to join with you two, then it's like, it works out in your favour and those people's favour. Yeah, because here's the yeah. problem, Michelle told me that, yeah. um, I don't want to like, blab a mouse, because look, you know, we got along in the morning, Michelle did tell me that oh, no. she's considering voting you out, but only she gets the numbers because um she doesn't, she's connected with you at least. But just okay. please don't say anything, no, I don't no, want to get no, in trouble, no, no, but I'm telling you this, so we're going to be friends and we'll yeah. go for each other. Like, she told me my name is Ken, she told me my name is Ken, I'm not a first one. I've heard um some people want to vote Christy out, but some people want to get rid of, um some people told me they haven't connected with the brunette girl, I think it's Danny. And I think her name is, and the reason why, um, because they just haven't connected with her, and I haven't talked to her that much, so yeah. Um, so some, but some people want to vote Christy out. I don't want to vote Christy out, because um, I've got something, so, there's something I feel like I've, I want to talk to her about, but I'll talk to her after the game. It's something about resilience, something with my army training where I was being resilient, and it was a bit of struggle for me. It's something I can relate to how she won. So, and I think it would be too early to vote her out, because it's some um, shield, because, you know, it's, um, it's, you don't want to like play hard that early. Um, Michelle said she wants to vote out Liz because she feels like, and Liz approached me for Christy. Liz, I feel like, is the one playing hard the most, and Michelle just said my name's popped up. I hope that's not true. What do you, has Christy thrown out any names? Because she's got I haven't heard Christy throw out names, okay. but I've heard John, I've heard okay. Danny. Danny. Um, I've heard Christy. Christy, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. it's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, she could just tell us who to vote for, and then like, we get that one out the way. At yeah. least if we would have won, we wouldn't have to do this. Yeah. 
I get a really good first impression from you. Like, I would like to work with you. And I think that, um, like, I trust you. God, that's yeah, quick. No, I don't know, like, I don't, everyone's super nice. But yeah, yeah, everyone is super nice. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, oh, God, I'm so confused. Like, it's changed so many times in the last couple of minutes. Yeah. So, obviously, Christy's name's come up just because she's played before and she's she's technically the easy vote um i kind of threw her name out to um what's the guy's name of the captain america i don't his name i talked to him and we both were kind of like christy but then um tk said that he wants to work with her so we're kind of leaning more towards danny um just because i think the four of us like me um the guy with the Captain America show. I'm so sorry that I've forgotten his name. TK and then the guy with the long hair. We kind of said Danny. Uh... So that's why. Yeah, I, I think that that's a good choice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that was like the general consensus. I feel really good with Luke and TK. Is it TK? I think it's TK. And Danny. Like I feel really good about those people. So I want to try and go chat with them now. Yeah. I'm down. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. I love you. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, like, I was like, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm happy to like, repair that a lot. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. He's so intense. Yeah. Like, I, because we expect a lot of people. He's fine, he's fine. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Cat is also a super. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I feel like she's fine. Yeah, Ari now. No, no. I, I'm, I'm, I swear to you. No. Already. It's just, it's just because people, it's like, we're about to do. Alright, so. Yeah. Okay. I'm not saying a whole lot. I'm letting other people talk. Um, I have been included in two groups of five um, that are made up from different people. But if I had it my way, I would want John to go because he, he's been like nudging me in the side and he's like, Luke, can we have a quick chat over here? Like, I'm not having a one-on-one -on -one chat with you when there's this many people. That He's just not very tactful with, um, at the start of the game, you can't just have, we can't just disappear. So. I don't know, long term for my game, I don't think he's going to be good. I think he's going to lean on me a little bit as someone that he knows. Um, and I, I would want him out sooner rather than later so it doesn't tank my game. because I don't really know anyone yet. Um, but we'll just wait and see what happens. I've got good vibes with some people. Uh, I'll have to wait and see if that follows through or not. It could be John or it could be Danny. I think, I think those, Danny's name has been out a lot. Um, I'm easy to vote anyway, basically. And then sort of with the people that have voted with me, hopefully I'm voting correctly. The only thing that scares is that I know Michelle from the Survivor Clan page and she knows I play Org, so I really don't want to be first week. Good thing there's Edge of Extinction, but yeah. I'll start from this side here, Luke. What do you think about that twist to start the game? Uh, that we did our drive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was alright, I mean. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the difference between knowing your tribes beforehand and knowing your tribes after is. Um, I don't know, it was cool. 
having fun. That's good, that's good. Not a great answer. Uh, uh, TK, on the other end here, uh, why do you think you lost the challenge? I mean, it's a bit of an unlucky one, right? Oh, I felt terrible because I definitely had the least eggs in my basket, so I felt personally responsible. Um, like, we did great. I had a lot of fun as well, but, like, I would make the smallest omelette with those eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but we did, we did well. But some of the other players, like, I think her name's Meline. She was a beast. Like, she... Okay. she she, oh yeah, she, was she had them like in like, yeah, a bra, like in a pants. So, Crazy. good on them. So hopefully the next challenge is lunch base. <laughs> uh, Danny, how frantic was it when you got back to camp? Frantic. It's just like, how do you how do you go from being in a big group and peel off without and putting yourself under a target as well? It was intense, and to do it so quickly was crazy. Lizzie, what are you very? Uh, Lizzie, what are you basing your vote off? Um, I don't actually know. It's like, because it's such a short amount of time, maybe to just being thrown out left and right for like really little reason, just if you're, you know, just based on first impressions, it's really hard to go someone's name and also to find the reason why to vote someone out. Because I think we all genuinely think everyone's nice and we all want to work together, so it's going to be hard. You're nodding in agreement there, John. Do you want to elaborate on that? Well, I think I get what Liz is coming from. I mean, we've only known each other for almost about an hour. We haven't really had like, <laughs> chit chat too much. If this was real life survivor, it would be three days. And, you know, um, so it's just like, kind of like um, everyone wants to be given a chance. And I personally like to be given a chance. But obviously, you've g given us a schedule, and that's the only thing we have to go by. Well, that's it. It's so, short. I told you it's quick. <laughs> Uh, Chris, are you voting with head or heart? I'm voting with who I want to work with moving forward. I'm not targeting a person, it's who I want to work with. Uh, Michelle, how important do you think that start, that morning tea period is going to be for this vote? Um, I think it was very important that we got to mingle quite a bit beforehand. I think we got first impressions over and done with easily. Um, but yeah, just want not wanting to vote anyone out at this stage is really bad, but at least they get to go to extinction and come back. Come back. That's it. Possibly. Luke, you look crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a bit of nerves. It's, it's just a bit of... It's mainly being cold, though. <laughs> Who actually feels comfortable tonight? <laughs> Everyone feels nervous? All right, Sam, has there been any talks about idols or advantages this early on? Not in the conversations I've had, but um, I mean, I'm sure it's on everyone's minds a little bit, but yeah, interesting. TK, how do you feel to today? You I'm ready? Freezing. I'm probably gonna have a nervous moment after this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. yeah, but look, I'm excited to play, I'm just grateful. Um, and yeah, I'm keen to go to one tribe or go to every single one of them, so hopefully not. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to play, I just want to play, yeah, so that's my point. John, are you feeling nervous? Uh, yeah. I mean, I think like um, uh, everyone should probably be feeling nervous because we're going to be to away tonight. Um, and based on the conversations, like, you know, I've heard this up this morning. Right? Yeah, I'd, you know, I did hear my name was kind of like potentially brought up. I don't know if I'm the main person people want to get rid of. I hope that's not the case. But like, yeah, I'm just prepared for what could be the worst. And yeah, I hopefully I could have another chance to play in the game and show the tribe that, you know, I can be good working with. That's all. But lucky there's Edge of Extinction. Hope good thing that's another chance, but better to not go there than go there. Uh, uh, last question, I guess. Michelle, how do you think the Edge is going to make an impact in this game? Um, depends how much um, the person voted out um, uh, wants revenge, I suppose. It depends mm. how badly they come back and think, right, you voted me out. Um, yeah, that's not always a good thing. All right, anyone want to say anything before we vote? All right, good luck. All right, Luke, you're up first.
Michelle, you're up. tonight today <laughs> I'm a bit nervy, but John, this is just because I just vibe with other people more. There's nothing against you. Sorry, mate. Uh, Danny, I'm voting you tonight because one, I did hear your name, and I'm doing it, and I've heard my name come up, and Someone's got to go. I wish I got to know you more, but the most important reason you're like the least person I have connected with. Um, no hard feelings, but good luck. That's all I can just say. Um, yeah, but hopefully it's you and not me tonight. your name and I've heard Chrissy's name and I've heard John's name um, I don't know where this is gonna go but hopefully it's not me If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and they would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Alright, I'll read the votes. First vote. Danny. Second vote. John. Third vote. Danny. That's two votes, Danny. One vote, John. Fourth vote. John. Oh, fucking That's two votes, Danny. Two votes, John. Fifth vote. John. That's three votes, John. Two votes, Danny. Sixth vote. John. That's four votes, John. Two votes, Danny. First person voted out of Sydney Survivor. John. Alright, understand. Pl please bring me your torch and head to the edge of extinction. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Any final words? <laughs> uh, look guys, well, I don't know what I did wrong. Um, hopefully it wasn't too personal, but um, yeah, good luck. Um, and I hopefully Give it a round of applause, guys. I meant everything I said to most of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Grab your torches, head back to camp. 
DK seems to be someone like throwing the votes out there, but um, throwing the votes out there and shit like that. But um, she, he was the one that was considering Danny. But then obviously, like um, he ch he could be like playing games. I reckon. I reckon like you know he could have potentially said, "Oh, let's vote out Danny." But then when we went to Danny, he would have just said, "Oh, they're voting your name. They're th thinking of throwing your name out." You wanted to vote out Christy, but I need a shield. See you later, Captain America. I'm just curious to see what happens next. I'm just hoping the challenge won't be too hard. And I really, really, really hope the Survivor Gods will be good to me, help me get back in the game. Because it's just, yeah. Because, you know. Next time on Sydney Survivor. Definitely making some alliances with a whole bunch of groups. I'm not sure where the line's fully set yet. That's going to evolve. Yeah. So you, you fall. Yeah. 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 Ye